All right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of journey number one as Fia's Blood Assassin and Elden Ring following Fighting Cowboys Walkthrough Guide. And uh, we're starting off this episode letting you know that I made an enormous mistake. Uh, apparently, I wasn't supposed to rest at this site, and that makes sense because it has respawned all these people up here. So all the ballistas are active again, and I need to go kill these dudes. Uh, it's just it's going to be a little bit of an uphill fight. So uh, we apparently can open the front gate. And uh, I just want to look what's over here. Commoner's simple garb. All right, well, uh, go to the front of the gate. There's some loot to grab. Already. Let's see if maybe I can get out of combat over here. Yeah. Okay, we'll see if we can take these guys down one by one. this uh, opening footage until I get this right. Okay. I must have missed this one earlier. Smithing Stone Class 2. Ah, oh, darn it. There's a guy up top. Let's see. Can I even reach him? One more guy at the very top. I don't think I can reach him either. Darn. Yeah, no way up there without going teleporting backwards. So I'm going to have to fight the dudes downstairs with that guy sniping at me.
How dare you take down one of my skeletons? Okay. Up there's the courtyard. I don't think we need to go there. I think we have to go this way. Yeah, there's... There's the lion that we're gonna have to face. I can see him. Over in the trees. Alright, so we're gonna post up right here. And I'm going to, uh... Check out what the rest of his video shows for this fight down here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. And I'll be right back. Okay, we are going to fight this lion, but first, uh, we want to actually kind of run past him and get, uh, there's a grace that we can grab. So to do that, we'll stick to the outer wall over here, opposite of where he's at. We will aggro him right as we're going through the arches, but we should be able to run to the grace. I don't even think he can chase us through the arches, but I'm not 100%. Now, fighting cowboy goes ahead and rests here. I'm not going to because I don't want to respawn the soldiers behind them in case this uh, fight goes wide. face this guy with these enemies back here no matter what okay at least this started me here uh, also I want to try and get poison on them I don't think I have much of a chance of getting those runes so I'm not even going to think about it until I Vanquish the lion. See if they can. Yeah, they. I think they sense him. No, they don't. Now they do. Let them gain aggro. Okay, I got the poison on him. Smithing Stone, Beast Blood, and Old Fang. I have one skeleton left. Which, if I'm lucky, I can retrieve my runes. Thank you. 
pick up all of me loops. And retrieve my runes. Okay, it appears as though I've successfully cleared the area. Just in case I drew aggro on somebody, let me try and gain distance because I need to reference the video again. So we'll hang out right here. All right, be right back. Okay. Uh, what we do now is we teleport back to the lift side grace site. So I've got 7,600. How many do I need to level? Because it would be a shame to lose the 7,600. Need 11. Ten four. <laughs> Eleven six. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's push endurance up to 19 and we'll try to get to 20 there and then probably start putting some points into vigor again all right uh, left side chamber so we're gonna fight the big guy right outside of here the one with the, the dog, and then we're going to lure a giant over to break that statue. Wish me luck. Okay, I didn't draw any other attention, so from here we'll go forward. There should be some birds up here that are a pain in the neck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I couldn't seem to get inside his range. Those particular birds I might want to use the pole arm on. They got a better reach. The pole arm, the uh, twin blade. Oh, look at this. 
<laughs> I never got this piece of loot. Okay, back over to the twin blade. Try this. Yeah, th those things are never really easy for me there. They can tank some damage. Okay, down here to talk to... Be proud. What's her name? You are a fine warrior. Well, tarnished I. I am Nefeli. I'm here by decree of my father. Nefeli How utter this grafting is tainted the bit. If you intend, I ask you call. The winds run. I'm certain for. Apology as fellow down whatever. Apology as fellow down whatever. This. Golden seed. And then we will aggro the giant. Dead? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> there we go. Smithing stone one and two. Oh, yeah, I forgot the zero runes, I believe. Okay, now that I've killed him, I need to see what he does next. I think we're going to go off in that direction, but we'll find out. Okay, I was wrong. He uh, goes this direction. So we're going to go back up to where the giant was. There's a gray site behind him where he was at. That's right next to the boss. Oh, you know what? 
Fighting Cowboy, I think you missed this. Huh. I, I was just lucky I happened to be uh, facing like that azimuth whenever I came up. That I was I was vectored in on it, so it was right in front of me, and I was able to see the loot back there. All right, we're going to take this dude out. Grab this gray side, and then we're gonna head right across the way. And that gives us a storm collar, and then we got a bunch of pup people we gotta take down. on the wrong one. Get me out of here. There we go. Alright, what are you gonna do? Living Jar Shard. There's some more of the little guys back here. Seems like strong strikes is the way to go. Okay, nothing else. He runs out this way because there is... Oh, you know what? There's a piece of loot I, I missed. But uh, first, let's send that down. It goes to, I guess, a former gray site. I'm not sure which one. He doesn't really specify, but he does let us know that it goes down to another gray site. And uh, I think we're going to go across this way and then hop up there and go up these ledges. But first I have to go back. Because there's a piece of loot that I forgot. That's over near the lift side, Grace. Right here. Class two smithing stuff. I'm glad I went back for it. We're going to go down here and do what I just talked about, so stand by. Okay. So we are going to proceed down this way. Kukri knives, always nice. Kind of stacking those up. Jump across. Follow the ledge. Jump across again. Through the window. Uh, through here.
that gets us out over here. I sure hope I don't fall here. Okay, good. I made it easily. Class 2 smithing stone. Then we go up this way. Golden Road and a smithing stone. I don't think there's anything else. Nope. I'm sneaking, but I got a lantern activated. Oh. Weathered straight sword. Oh, hello. Okay, I think we'll just drop right down there and take those guys on. Again. One more. And we've got the Manor Tower Shield. All right, and this is where I pause you. So stand by. Okay, now we're gonna make our way back to, I guess, what we would call the backside of the lift side grace. Surely what you seek is somewhere close by. Smithing Stone Class 3, wow, that, that must be what he was talking about. Alright, from here we're gonna drop off right here. And, uh, then to here, then here, here. There's a piece of loot to get here. This always kind of gives me the willies because you got to jump up on the ledge. And that's a long drop. Is that where the, uh, the, I forget, the uh, tree, not the tree knight, something knight is down there, I think. The ones with the lizard tails, I can't think of what they're called right now. Alright, rainbow stone. And then right here, this is the lift side grace. This is the um, elevator that we sent down a little while ago. Here's where the big guy and his dog are at, so that you have an idea of where we're at. Okay, so now he's going to go across here, and uh, he fights a bat in that cave, I believe. I need to confirm that because I had it on two by speed and I I was thinking about something else that he'd shown me earlier and so I didn't process this part mentally. Uh, I kind of came back to whenever um, he was fighting the bat so I want to confirm this is the direction we go. 
and then I want to see uh, this is what I consider a section so I want to see what he does I think he's gonna go down here and fight some other bats but I want to make sure about all that so I will be right back okay so I was right we're gonna take this path down all the way down basically so uh, drop to here jump across Jump across. This is our first bat. Arteria leaf. And uh, he does a neat little trick here. Apparently, if you uh, wake these guys up by hitting them with throwing daggers, they they fall down. And they're in a very vulnerable position. So from here, go down this way to get the loot. Yeah, see there's rats down there at the bottom. We're going to have to face those guys. be right back all right so we are gonna take these rats out these little ones then there's gonna be a ash of war guy that appears and we're gonna have to chase past the big rat who I think I can see its shadow from here in the distance we're gonna run past that and get the uh, ash of war and then double back and get mama rat She is. There, this is. Okay, I kind of got turned out. Oh, there she is. Got that bleed stack up on her. Poison Bloom. And now we're going to fight um, what Cowboy calls a Seed Beast. And that fight's going to happen right here. Uh, I'd like to get Poison on it. Here we go. Yeah. 
got me in his mouth? No. Ugh. They're getting hit a lot here at the end. Ah, oh, bummer. Couldn't quite get the health potion. <laughs> I was so close to putting them down, man. Okay, we're at left side grace. Where are we at? We're at the boss. Okay, but I think the shortcut now would be to go from left side chamber. since the door's open. All right, so I'm gonna pause you and work my way back towards the Seed Beast and I'll bring you back then. Okay, here we are for round two. golden seed out of that that fight went pretty good for where I'm at as a player I, I feel like I did I did okay on that stone sword key throwing daggers those are always nice let's go ahead and swap out for the throwing daggers actually kukri's got 25 of them Okay, looks like I have everything in the main room. Uh, there is stuff in the back, so let me pause you and find out if he says anything about this, because this is kind of a, if I recall, I think this is a significant place uh, that has to do with, it, uh, it, it could tie into kind of how my character is supposed to be operating, so I'll be right back. All right, all right, guys, well... We would be doing a boss fight, except that he forgot a piece of loot. <laughs> and it's um, it's a weapon, so I have to go get it. That's the whole purpose of this playthrough, is to try and get my guy's inventory as complete as possible. That's why I'm following his guide. So, uh, we're at the left side chamber, and uh, I want to go out this way. I'm just going to run past everything if I can. All the way over to the the room with the rats in it. We're going to run past the rats also. But my stamina build back up. Climb the ladder.
We're gonna have to take these two knights out. So, um, I don't want to use Kukri's on them. I'll load up these daggers instead. I think, you know, it's possible you, you could run by these guys also, but, oh my gosh, I don't really trust it. Take a single hit. That felt very assassin. -y. Assassino. I hope I don't lose my runes. I think we could probably level again. It's a little bit framey right there. Poise. Oh no, I threw a dagger. Oh snap, I thought I was on health. I threw a dagger and it killed him. Oh, I feel awesome. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say that. I, I might need to try to incorporate that into my game. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna come over here. Oh shoot. Oh no. Stupid idiots. Supposed to be able to get up here. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, and then just run this way and we gotta there's a point where we gotta jump over. guys can I jump back up there yeah see I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do at this point oh they hit me I don't want to die you know what I think I'm gonna have to roll off of here Kill me. Can I safely travel to the secluded cell? Yes. 
Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so... Um, we will do the Godric fight now. Uh, I'm at 11,788. I can add a charge to my flasks. And I can almost level up, so we will use a rune. I think just this will do it. Uh, we're about to do a boss fight. Let's go ahead and stack a point into Vigor. I probably should have done that earlier too, but uh, better late than never, I guess. All right, 112 runes. We're in perfect position to go ahead and do a boss fight. So we can call, uh, what's her name? Something Lou, ne Nephili Lou, Nephili. All right, let's do this. Oh, I forgot to pop that flask. Uh, skip. First try. We'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> Godric's great room, remembrance of the grafted. That's fantastic. 
Man, I've got eight minutes to spare. I started this with 13 minutes. I'm like, I'm probably going to go over time because this guy's going to kill me like 40 times and I'm going to have to go into the video editor. But I think I can actually send this video to the internet without doing any editing. I, I got this cold in one shot. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> All right, I got 15,000 runes. We can level up again. Get that 20th point in uh, dexterity. I really don't know if I should have been doing that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have been stacking arcane instead, but we can level up. There we go, 20 and two. Oh, endurance. Yeah, but I did do 20 into dexterity. Okay, wow. Well, that might have been a mistake. And we can go talk to this guy now. He's all... What happened? He, he's Epic had a... excuse for a lord you <laughs> he, were. He's had an axe to cry. Craven to the bone. Pushing me... Oh! He got what I tell you, though. He had. <laughs> All right. Uh, ruin fragments. Uh, let's see. Stormhawk feathers. Bandit garb. Yeah, I think that these are the things, some of the things that we want to buy. Here's a fist weapon. Now, fist weapons are different. Remember, I, found, I was disappointed to find that claws would not take blood or... Um, Occult attunements, I guess you would call them, but fist weapons do. So I need to take another look and see if maybe that's a route that I can go. Not really sure, but I don't really see anything else here except the bandit's garb. And, uh, I will actually use these, I guess two of them. Now I can dan I now grab the boots. Okay, and just because uh, we have the time, let's go to equipment and see what all of that looks like. I don't see it. Was there not a headpiece? I, there probably wasn't. Okay, there's the bandit garb. Bandit manchettes. I wonder what exile greaves would look like. Uh, uh, they don't fit. Okay. Well, I, I don't think there's any question that this is awesome. And it's whether I want the bandit stuff or the traveler stuff. And I think I'm leaning towards bandit, but let's do another one-to-one -one comparison. I don't know, it's kind of a tough call. Maybe I'll go to the bandit stuff just because it's new. Yeah, sure. We'll run with this. All right, I'm down to 28 runes. Probably we can, uh, let's see, we got three and a half minutes. Let's 
let's go back to the Table of Lost Grace and see if we can level weapons up. Uh, I don't have the runes on me, so this is just more of a check. To see if it's feasible. Now, and if it is, then I'll do a rune grind between this episode and the next episode. Fine and well. Okay, it requires. So the Bloodstained Dagger requires six Class II Smithing Stones, and I have 15. And the Reduvia requires one Class V Somber Smithing Stone, and I do not have it. So I think we're going to be able to level up the, the Bloodstained Dagger a couple times. And, uh... Looks like the Poison Twin Blade also. Alright, but I'll have to do some, uh... Some rune grinding. Between now... I'll do it off screen. And then, in the next episode, we'll open up doing some some weapon upgrades so before I forget then we can take a look at what kind of damage I'm doing right now status the Reduvia is doing 181 damage the twin blade is doing 143 when single-handed the bloodstained dagger is doing 106 Okay, 180, 146 for the, the Twin Blade. Yeah, it went up three points whenever I two-handed it. It's not a whole lot. All right, guys. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where the story continues.